All right, back. Promise y'all a timeline on this video today. You saw us when we got open this morning. We brought you a video about this truck, told you the process of buying it, told you it was a local vehicle, showed you some pricing, showed you what it would cost if we had to build it or if you had to build it, and also downtime and things like that. Since then, we've done a lot of videos. Christian has uh, been a trooper today, but has let me down a couple times also. But he's shaking his head. He's done good. A little lacking on editing, but he's got a lot to do. Um, the only thing good about that, we were doing a video earlier, and he didn't have the microphone turned on, and the trees were in the background of that one. So beautiful palm trees. All that rain last night made them very healthy. But this is a 2019 GMC. 1500 or Chevrolet Z71 1500 47,000 miles locally owned on a pro comp suspension lift 35 inch tires 22 inch wheels hardcore off-road wheels black and machine with a power folding step system with dark tinted windows check your state even if it's Virginia that might be too dark power steps hard tanu cover backflip brand the actual true backflip brand trifold bed cover on uh, a couple other accessories spraying bed liner led bed light dual exhaust parking assist probably dirty back there oh it's not dirty back there surprise surprise he actually just must have washed it got the trailer brake control and stuff in the back it's power up yeah it's power up oh well let's try that then LTZ package. Check that out, guys. Pretty nifty. Let's just, I'll do the camera and you do the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> so, we brought y'all a little content about how much these trucks are bringing at auction, how much it would cost to buy one, how much it would cost to ship it, and how much it would cost to accessorize it. But if you don't want to take time to watch that video, don't watch this one. It's about 10 grand to set that truck up. Tires, wheels, lift kit, bed cover, tent the windows, and power steps. Give or take. Wholesale versus retail, blah, blah, blah. It's done. It's tasteful. It's a Nitto trail gra um, ridge grappler tire, which is not a knockoff tire. It's a great tire, an expensive tire. In between an all terrain and a mud terrain, so it's kind of a mixed terrain, we call it, like a Toyo RT. Um, the Z71 package, of course. Inside, all the creature comforts. Power seat, memory seat, bow stereo, heated and cooled seats, uh, all your factory trailer brake control stuff, um, push button tailgate, traction control, hill descent, push button four wheel drive, all your different lights, you even got a jellyfish launcher button. I can't believe nobody's ever commented about a jellyfish launcher and what it is. Um, it's got a nice touch screen. We're going to jump in and go for a ride because this thing drives like stock, guys. Check it out. No check engine lights, no trouble codes. Does not even have a tire warning light. It's got the really nice front camera, it's got the side blind spot cameras. It's got the wireless phone charger, uh, navigation, got the rear view mirror camera right here. Golly day. Y'all want to talk about text messages, goodness gracious. Um, push to start, all your different pieces to plug your phones in and your other stuff. And again, all you gotta do is lay your phone on here and it will charge right up. Remote start even has a push button on the fob to drop the tailgate in case you're walking up with groceries and your hands are full you push the button drop it and walk right up to it a couple different glove boxes it's a full crew cab not an extended cab and again no lights no codes um, comes with a 30-day warranty with us factory warranty has unfortunately expired or real close to expiring if it hasn't just due to it being five years but this is a great truck hits the road good I made the trip around the highway. There's no funny noises. The steering wheel's centered. And I promised you guys it would be online super quick. And it will be. You know, actually, it should be now online. Um, and it'll go to the off-road shop. We're going to shake the suspension down. We're going to check everything over. And so we'll go to the service shop and get an oil change. 
Um, state inspection, even though it's not due. Uh, oil change is not due also. Uh, the light on here says it's like 50% or something, but we're going to do that. So that's done. And you guys will be ready to roll with a fresh vehicle right out the box. As you can see, like I said, no pulling. The steering wheel is straight as an arrow. We're going to pull up on our buddy up here. If we can, wave at him and get him on video. Also, one of our helpers sometimes getting some trucks accomplished for us. Must be headed to a late lunch. Yep, about that time. Yep, not going to be able to get up the side of gas. That's okay. We're running 50 miles an hour. Um, and she's steady, she's smooth. <coughs> Just like it's supposed to be. You can hit the brakes, which we'll do here at the stoplight. You know, and again, if you don't have lifted trucks, you don't understand some of the things we check. Sometimes we'll get in a truck and we hit the brakes and they will veer across three lanes of traffic. You can hit the brakes right here, straight as an arrow. Boom. Steering wheel didn't move. You show steering wheel. There you go. So doing our little test drive, we go about a mile or two up the road here, make a loop back. Sometimes we get on the highway, traffic's a little heavy because it's a holiday weekend coming up. Um, but just to make sure there are no pulls, there are no funny vibrations. Um, and again, this one is spot on the way it's supposed to be. So we appreciate everything, guys. Stay in touch. Have a safe and happy holiday. And we'll be back at you soon with another video on some more inventory. This is a very, very nice, ready-to-go truck. All right, we're back from our test drive. We didn't have any accidents. Nobody ran us off the road. A uh, couple new pieces. Jeep just came in. If you're looking for a really nice Gladiator, 7,000-mile Jeep. He's washing up a Toyota that I do believe is going to be sold. A really cool Tacoma, a Tundra, excuse me, Tundra, with American Force wheels. One of two Tundras we have on American Forces. The OBS 7.3 there just went up for sale. That's a local truck that we previously sold. Excursion just came back from a test drive. I do believe the customer is going to get it. They're headed out of town for the holiday, traveling back through on Tuesday, and say they're probably going to take that home. A couple things pending on the 450 up front that we just posted. Corvette's been very popular already. And, of course, a great selection of tow trucks. Lots of different stuff going on on those, but a good selection. We won't get the Lamborghini, unfortunately, online today because the service shop could not get to it. I'm not going to post it until it goes through service. But I did drive it, and it does great. Yellow Lamborghini, we don't have time to pick it up because it's across town and it's too much traffic. So that will not get posted today either. We did bring out the two Broncos, the five-door Broncos. So they are online, and that's about it, guys. So we don't get to any more content. Have a safe and happy holiday. We'll be back at you on Tuesday. A lot of stuff coming in over the weekend, several more cool square bodies, and hey, we're not going to disappoint you at all. We'll have more for you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate all the support.